What's up? <laughs> Hello, everybody out there in the world. Uh, it's your boy Carcino, in case you didn't know or couldn't read the title above. Uh, and to all you first time watchers and do, didn't know me from five, six years ago, we have been telling you that the outcome of this bout for five, six years. But here's the shock of the hour. Pacquiao didn't do as bad as we thought. That was the that ended up being the big shock of the night. He actually did some things early on that I said, "Wow, look at Manny Pacquiao. He's trying to do different things in the ring and trying to make a different look." For Floyd Mayweather. He actually drew Floyd in. And called him with a lead left. Something I said he needed to do. But he had to be active with a jab. You cannot. Beat Floyd Mayweather. If you don't jab. You can't cut off a ring. You can't beat Floyd Mayweather. We went over the percentages. We went over the numbers. And in the end as always. The percentages won the fight. And I told you guys. What would be the key? This was the first time Manny Pacquiao would be taking a drug test. Random blood and urine test. I told y'all that. And I said, we're looking for him to gas out. After six rounds. After six rounds. After he had the big six round. Where was Manny Pacquiao's stamina? Floyd was in front of him and he wasn't even throwing punches. Then his punches got so slow, they were all sloppy, hitting the ropes. He was all off balance. He was so wild. It was like, what is going on with Manny Pacquiao? Floyd got so relaxed because he knew Manny couldn't do anything to hurt him. At that point, he was done. But in, um, from the opening rounds, he was luring Manny Pacquiao to sleep. Manny did something dumb in the first part of the fight. He tried to outbox Floyd Mayweather in the middle of the ring. Not something you want to do. You want to use your aggression early to set the pace. That I'm going to be aggressive and I'm willing to sell out to win. Some I said Manny needed to do to win and he did not do that. And he let Mayweather dictate everything and keep control the distance. Mayweather's not going to reach. He's going to keep his distance. you got to do something to close the gap. So you're going to have to put in the work to beat him. He's not going to play your game. He's not going to chase you like everyone else did so you can counter him. So he's not going to make that many mistakes. And when he did, and he did get caught with a left in the uh, fourth round, Manny caught him with that straight left, and he went back to the ropes. It surprised Floyd because he didn't think Manny Manny was going to come with a straight left, a lead left counter. It's kind of like the same shot he called Algeri with, except for Algeri turned his head like an idiot. Floyd was, his flo his eyes was trying to throw a right hand, so he didn't see the left when it was coming. So when it hit him, it surprised him, because he was looking more for offense. So it was a good counter shot for Manny. But Manny, when got Floyd against the ropes, he was punching himself out. Floyd guarded himself real well, resting on the ropes. Manny kind of was aware of it, backed off a little bit. And then made the same mistake again in the sixth round when he called Floyd with a good shot and thought Floyd was more hurt than what he really was. Uh, I thought he called Floyd with a couple of good body shots. He didn't throw a lot of shots enough. And Floyd kind of broke him down. And then uh, he kind of saw Manny was breaking and then applied some pressure to Manny Pacquiao. So as you can see here. Oh my god, my ear. I think you'll bust my eardrum. <laughs> and Floyd was like, I know I won. I won. <laughs> as he told the crowd. So, I mean, there it is, man. So, the, the thrill of this fight, <laughs> what became the big story of the fight uh, is Manny Pacquiao at the end saying, I think I won the fight. Now, you know he was told to say that. 
Paul and Malinaji went off. <laughs> it's clear cut. HBO was, they tried their best to give Manny Pacquiao rounds. The most you could have gave him was four. He did not do anything from six to 12 to earn a round. After round six, he was completely gassed. And it was nothing he could do. Floyd wasn't going to take the risk at this point in his career to go for the knockout. I knew he wasn't. He tried it in like round 10. He jumped out and tried to see if Manny was ready to go. Then he's like, look, I'm getting $180 million to $200 million. I'm uh, boxing this clown. Why give him some opportunities? So Floyd took that route, and it ended up being a great night for everybody involved. And I was just happy that we finally got the fight done. Everybody thought I was going to come in bashing Manny. But what for? Man, I mean, there's, there's no real reason. It, I don't need to tell you Manny Pacquiao flaws. You've been told it for six years in a row. Nothing here was a surprise to me. <laughs> so I don't know why Pacquiao fans have been out of shape. Floyd could have did more. He could have gave us more of a fight. That's, something, that's your argument? <laughs> that he was Floyd Mayweather tonight? <laughs> So it's like, dude, give it up, man. I'm like, I'm not even mad at Manny. Manny did what I thought he was going to do. He gassed out. It was nothing else in the tank. You know, when you ain't got that stuff in your system, that's what happens. And you saw the Manny Pacquiao that you haven't seen since he fought Marquez in the second fight. You haven't seen this Pacquiao since then. But yeah, Pacquiao did a lot of movement and stuff and but he was he he didn't come in a straight line all the time. But when he did attack, it was straight down the middle. He tried to switch it up a little bit early and try to disguise his attacks so that Mayweather couldn't time him. And I said, Wow, man, he's learned something. You know, let's see what Floyd does to this. And he, Floyd figured out that crap and Took that away from him, and Manny eventually got tired and went back to the old Manny. So he got checked hooked every time he was in the corner, couldn't cut off a ring. I mean, hey, what could I tell y'all? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Carcino. Goodbye, Pack Tards. It was nice seeing y'all around. If y'all decide to stick around anyway, hey, that's cool. Stay and take your lumps. But now, when you try to say, well, Pack y'all is better, maybe. Go back and watch the fight, because now you got footage to know who's better. Now you know. <laughs> oh, that should the laughter was supposed to end everything. <laughs>